I don't really have any good uh, opening bits for this. Yeah, I, I got like a reverse C kind of joke, though. Back in the 90s, my uncle used to work at Radio Shack. Ooh. He was uh, talking to my dad once, kind of showing off this brand new thing. Uh, yeah, you know, these these computers that can record your voice. Re voice recording? Oh, wow. That's, what? that's uh, Oh, yeah. Ma imagine that. Whoa. And uh, you can, like, manipulate it, too. You can, like, you know, cut it. You can make it louder, softer. You can move this, this that, and the other. And, uh, well, the, the, the only trick I have is, uh... The the word cash would the air. <laughs> you reverse that, it says Raidl Shack. Oh <laughs> God. <laughs> this week it's Renegade, but I know it as Othello, but it's apparently also known as Reversi. It's basically the game where you uh can flip over other pieces. This one's fun, I think you'll like this one. See, I just re remember it as, you know, you drop a big rock on your toes like oh, hello. <laughs> It's actually a, a, a oh, Shakespeare play. I know this game. Oh yeah, it is. We have a long and troubled history. Really? What? All you got to do is flip your opponent's. They left me at the altar, you see. <laughs> I know. Oh, like this I has a tragic backstory. I didn't know Renegade minute. was actually a Renegade huh. story. Are you securing the corners? The corners? Why? This game can change on ah, a flip. See, uh, right. I I remember it as. I was trying to play it at one point. Yeah, it looked like this. You can flip, and the then a bunch of pieces bones. flip. Oh. So is it any right, piece Renegade. that's in a line? No so, uh, all right. I put I, I put one of my white ones down. Okay. And throughout the course of the game, you have a black one on one side and a black one on another side. It is now surrounded, and so you flip that one, and that turns black. Okay. So then I put my white one my back there, and then all that turns white, and then you got it's 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 just. I'll, I'm sure I'll figure it's, it out. It's it's easy to, to figure out. Hopefully, it's not as uh, as demeaning as go. Like uh, <laughs> for, like like for example, uh, I guess I'm black. Yeah, so I can put one right here, and now that one's mine. Interesting. So do the pieces? Does it have to be surrounded by three sides? Uh, no, just just, just by one. For example, if you put uh, one. Like above that that black one there. Uh, above this one. Yeah, that would turn that one white. Oh. And then I could do this, and then turn that one black. Interesting. So you're kind of like taking over by by two sides. Yeah. Okay. So I'm oh, oh I'm white. I'm mm -hmm. white. Okay. So doing this. Yeah. It, there okay. You go. Okay. You're okay. It. You're getting it. All right. All right. Yep. You take those. And that I'm white. <laughs> I'm all white. And I'm and I'm black. <laughs> That's not true at all. Oh, so, you can even go di diagonal. Yep, diagonals oh, too. Okay, okay. And I think I yeah, will. I think we got it. I'm gonna do one of these then. I think we got it. Yeah, there we go. Now, why did that happen? Diagonal. Oh, that was a diagonal. Yes. Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Starting to get the hang of this Shakespearean board game. <laughs> Ah. There we go. There we go. Oh, that understanding now. We yes, one, one. I noticed it's not letting me place like random pieces, so it must have a plan in mind. I think it is wanting. What? Well, wait. Uh. Yeah. Can you hit like assist on there? Maybe it'll tell you where. Yeah. There you go. <gasps> oh, that's so cool. There you go. Okay. But that means that I can see, and I can be like, oh no, you better not play. No, there. I, mean, I can do that. No! I can do that. That's fun. All right, let's see here. You can put it there. It's all right. Well, isn't that just one of the coolest things I've ever seen in my life? Yeah, see, that's... R really, it is? I, I'm, I, I, I'm very easy to please, okay? Apparently. It's like, just put a bag of chips and a Pepsi, and all of a sudden I'm bowing to you. <laughs> Whoa! Hang on! Bag of chips and a Pepsi? What? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Usually it's a bag of chips or a Pepsi. But and both at the same time, <laughs> we can only be so lucky. All that and a bag of chips. What? It just reminds me of uh, I I heard <laughs> it's it's just a socialist dream, man. I, I, I'm just thinking of I, I can't even remember what episode it was, but there was a Game Grumps episode which, for some reason, Aaron talking about Reese's Puffs and then going candy for breakfast is like one of the funniest <laughs> fucking things I've ever heard. It's not even that funny. It's just like candy for breakfast. You gotta sell it, man. <laughs> I mean, Reese. I mean, the whole 
pathos of Reese's Puffs is based on the notion of candy for breakfast. <laughs> exactly! If you want to sell that candy, you gotta sell the idea- CANDY FOR BREAKFAST?! I CAN'T EVEN FATHOM! <laughs> and then of course I looked up the song Reese's Puffs with- Reese's Puffs! No, Reese's, Reese's Puffs! Eat em up, eat em up, eat em up, eat em up! That was the crunkest song of 2005, <laughs> man, tell you what. Was that during the crunk era? I, I, I'm trying to remember if it was. It, it makes sense, otherwise it was really Because that's what like, Lil Jon came in. it was really ahead of its time. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. What?! Reese's Puffs, what?! <laughs> Candy for breakfast, yeah, yeah! <laughs> uh, Ooh, no, that's not a move. Um... Hmm... Hmm. There's not too much I can do, unfortunately. Well, there's eight things you can do. This will only go for your two diagonals, right? Is what I'm seeing here. If if there's a line that starts with a white and ends with a white, it will turn everything that's between that black. Uh, so it sh it'll only do one then. It'll do it'll do it all. What? Like? like no, it'll just do that. What one. were you trying to do? Uh, I just I was trying to see what move had more than one piece flipped. Is essentially see. what I was going for. I see. I see. I mean, I'm set up right now for something, but I won't be later. Mm -hmm. it, this game truly does come down to, like, the last few moves, right? Yeah, because that's when you get the real big flips. Uh, exactly. That, 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 that's that, when everything you know, like, goes Buku wrong. Like, points. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Hey, that looks fine. Did, 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 Just a couple did, points. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. I like the fact that it's not telling me how many points we have, so it's like, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> yeah. Mm. You want to try it? You want to try it? Mm, well, I mean, yeah, yeah, well, you know. This makes me think we're just like creating Oreos here, but just really don't know how to do it. Oh, you got a corner. That's okay, we keep flipping it upside down, and the exactly. cream just keeps getting the felt on it, and uh, yeah. you, know, you can have that one. I don't want that one. At least with the cookie, you can kind of brush it off. You know, I'll just have a Chips Ahoy, if that's okay. That, uh, a thousand uh, Chips Delicious! <laughs> Nabisco! Ding! And that's how they get you. I know! And that's how they get you. I'm still you trying- You recognize the brand, and therefore you are a slave to their songs! Their siren calls of capitalism! Wake up, sheeple! Anyway- I went on a nostalgia dive and found that commercial again. I was like, this is circa my mom and dad taping Beast Wars for me before I went to school every day. And seeing that commercial, I was like, a thousand chips delicious. That shit was hot, man. Woo. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. Speaking of hot, that look bad. at that. That was, a, that was a spicy move, I'd say. Yeah, look at that spice. You got a few look at that spice. You got a few spicy moves of your own, I'd say. Good, nice spice, nice spice. Applaud the spice, applaud the spice. Ooh. Oh! No. Oh no! I believe we have an issue! There's an issue here, sir. I do believe I that. do not enjoy the fact that there is an issue because they are just giving you that corner. I can't go in here. Oh, yeah, I can. Now you I can't don't know go why in. I would. Now you, can, oh, now you can. You can flip that, but that would be your corner forever, and I wouldn't be able to take that back. Hmm. Hmm. I do like the idea of owning a corner. But what I don't like the idea of is you getting points. Like that right there, that hurt. Yeah, that's... Uh... You gosh darn hurt me, friend. Well, you can you can turn it around. It's, it's pretty, pretty easy. Oh, so close. Yeah. So fucking close. You got, you got some good moves there. It's, yeah, it's, 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 I it see all, It all comes down to the wire here, son. I see him. <laughs> uh, this is my best bet. All right. I did have another play, but unfortunately it didn't come to fruition. It's too bad. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Tis a shame. It's okay, though. We'll all live. Oh, you didn't hear? Uh, the loser of this gets executed. So, Othello, the game that, you know, takes no prisoners. Actually, no. Uh, I think there was a, uh, maybe like, was it like an urban myth or something like that? But there was an Egyptian game called Senate. I mean, I brought this up before. Mm -hmm. But it, it was basically a, you know, roll the dice, move the piece kind of thing. It had its own kind of special rules and spaces. And the loser would be executed. But I don't know if that's been proven or not. Man, Yu-Gi-Oh! got dark. <laughs> as if it wasn't already! <laughs> uh, I mean, he is the king of games. It would, it would kind of track so... Like, if anybody has ever read 
like essentially what is called season zero of Yu-Gi-Oh. I've only read the first volume of the of, of that season it zero. It fucking basically. goes nuts. Oh yeah, it's it's it, it's, it it's, is, it's a trip, man. It it's a so lot more interesting too. And then it said, <laughs> "No, there's money in these collectible card games for children." And the, the, so the senses were getting on the, our ass. The cards were an afterthought because Pharaoh was just like he was almost giddy as just be like, "Let's play a game. Loser loses their hand." Also, banish you to the Shadow Realm, motherfucker. <laughs> People would die. I know, People it was great. Fucking die. It was so funny. Hmm. You know? Okay, that does work. That's not bad. That doesn't help, though. Helps some, but not all. Yeah, I think those are now officially your pieces over there. Oh, yeah, it's not the best. That's still, that's still a sexy move, though. Yeah, I'm and trying. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely look that move across the bar. And go, hey, how you doing? <laughs> I posted something last night because, you know, I'm bored. I'm looking up different uh, videos on YouTube. I get, I get to a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh YouTubers because, you know, I secretly still love the game. And uh, somebody brought up a damn good point. You have all the spellcasters. Mm -hmm. Now, when I say spellcaster, what are you thinking? Uh, I'm thinking like Dark Magician and people like that. Correct. You know, d uh, do they have to be humanoid? As long as they're considered a spellcaster, as long as they're casting spells. So it could be like, you know, a dragon with a little wizard hat on and be a spellcaster? If it's classified as such, then yeah, it's a spellcaster. Okay, okay, fair. Let's, but, let's, let, let's not uh, dig too deep into it. I don't think that's the point of the story here. Well, the, the funniest thing is, I'm thinking, you know, spellcaster, I'm thinking a, a dork that's casting spells, and most of them are. Right, yeah, yeah, Like, yeah. twiggy little people just casting spells, and it's hilarious. Glass cannons, You just perhaps. won. Yeah, you just won. But, uh, do you know who the buffest spellcaster is? Dark Magician Girl? Nope. Uh... Dark Magician does get jacked eventually. By the way, congratulations oh, on your win. That was close, though. That was close. I like that one. Uh, the uh, the buffest spellcaster is goddamn Exodia the Forbidden One. <laughs> it's fucking yoked, dude. I saw something like that on Twitter about what you're talking about Exodia. <laughs> it was like, probably me. It, 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 it was you. It was about Exodia. It was, it was that tweet I'm thinking. All right, he's talking about Yu-Gi-Oh. And I don't know what he's talking about. It's Exodia the Forbidden One made of five separate pieces because he had to be banished for being so jacked. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, do you want to do one more? I would like uh, one more. That was fun. Uh, get the, get the, yeah, yeah, that was fun. You never know where this could go. If any of you out there in the comments can tell me of a more jacked spellcaster, specifically spellcaster, and don't bring up, like, fucking Time Wizard or something. Now, nah, give, give me something to work with. I, I could give you an, an answer, but I think it'd be mostly, like, not Yu-Gi-Oh! related. <laughs> and you also can't give me real-life people, like... You can't be throwing, like, Chris Angel. He's like, look at this buff magician! I'm so, like, so what you're if, an what idiot. What Schwarzenegger was a, was a fucking <laughs> wizard, huh? What he casted a spell of buffness. <laughs> no. Don't give me that. I'll give you that. What? You'll take it and you'll like it. Oh, well, thank you'll you. You'll be like, thank you, sir. Uh, here you go. Yeah, you, you call me sir now. It's kind of weird. I, I, I wish you'd stop. Enjoy a lovely cookie. <laughs> there you are, Sonny. Here's a cookie for you. So I wonder about the origins of this game. Well, obviously, it's the origin of cookies. I'm getting mixed up because I'm black now. It's very weird. <laughs> there we go. Out of contact with yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No! Not like that! Every day I wake up as a different race. <laughs> Last week, I was somehow Bolivian. New on ABC. <laughs> coming this summer. Are you a fucking racist? I don't know! I am all! I'm all a racist! I am everything! Hmm. This is, uh... Looking a little dire, but anything could happen. Yeah? Well, don't most Oth uh, Othello games come down to the the finale? Like, like it did last time. Exactly. And even then, I won by two chips. Oh. Oh. Huh. Wait, it was 34 to 30, right? I think, I think everything counts as two because there's a friend in the bag, you know? Oh. Well, how big is this grid? Let's see, it's eight by... Eight by, eight eight. by eight. So... 64? Oh. Yeah, 64. That's not bad. Oh, yeah, 32 pieces of pop. Okay. So there is the ability to tie it up. There we go. And it's gonna happen today. Here we go. Straight up tie. The ties do exist in this game. We've seen it before. Not Othello, but in uh, Clubhouse games. Hey man, I'm part of the Othello uh, speedrunning community. 
<laughs> Why don't you show me what you got, Mr. Speedrun Othello? I'm kicking your ass. See, this is see. I, I like to lull the challenger in a false sense of security, mm -hmm. by, by which case he uh, he becomes arrogant and he God damn it, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> God damn motherfucker. I, I mean, uh, the, a false sense of security. <laughs> see, it's all part of the act. It's all part of the bit. You see. That just reminds me, I've been rewatching a uh, DBZ Abridged, and there is a part where you hear Android 19 getting the snot kicked out of him in the background, and Dr. Giroux just goes, Are you afraid? <laughs> I was like, That's a perfect joke right there. <laughs> oh, God. God, I think this episode's just made for me. It's bringing up all the things I loved as a child Yu Gi Oh! and DBZ. <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh, well, ladies, if you know what this girl likes, he likes Yu-Gi-Oh and Jin. If you show up cosplayed as Dark Magician Girl, I will marry you on the spot. <laughs> What's yeah. up? What's yeah. a personality? Who cares? Dark Magician Girl forever. Yeah, not me. I don't have anything like that. <laughs> so anyway, uh, if you cosplay as Mayuri Sheena from Steins Gate, um, <laughs> that's 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 my. Uh, Especially yeah, if, you've the yeah, if, you've, if you've perfected the to-to-do. Yeah, if you've perfected the to-to-do, and nobody knows what the... You're mine. Nobody knows what the hell I'm talking about, and I, and I don't care. You kidding? Steins Gate's great. Steins Gate is great, but no one ever plays the game. Well... They always... It's always the anime. Well, It's right. always the anime. That's okay. The anime's fine and all, but it's... The, the, the game is great. That's... That's, um... This is very distressing. I'm, I'm gonna cry. Can I cry? Can, like... Can I cry a little bit on on camera? It's just. I mean, you can. Uh, okay, I'm just. Yeah. I think I've done it before. <laughs> okay, all right. That's that's Try to, one single tier. That's all you're allowed, though. Okay. okay. Oh, oh, that's that's one. Don't and go half above status quo. We don't have okay. the budget for more tiers. All right, you can just take it out of my paycheck then. It's fine. <laughs> paycheck. I mean. That's generous. I mean, uh, talk to the union head. I'm shit. I think you won this one too. Uh, yeah, yeah maybe. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, oh, oh my oh, god. Oh, Lord, yeah. oh my god. Well, nothing left to do but have a tiebreaker. I okay. Suppose, even yeah, let's you... do that. Actually, went a lot faster because I'm no longer in the in the learning stage. I'm a fully grown moth niskel right here. Let's go. He has reached full power. <laughs> <laughs> a limited power of <laughs> renegade. <laughs> I am, in fact, the renegade in question. Watch me, I'm gonna go knock on your door and then run away. Look at me, the little renegade. You're gonna punch a reporter. <laughs> I understood that. He reference. just remembered what that was from. Hey, it took me a second, man. I've been sick the past week. Give me that. It was... It, it's like... <laughs> my favorite Mass Effect game is Mass Effect 2. Just, I, I, like, them thematically, oh, gameplay-wise, it's, it's just perfect. I love it. And it came to a head on one of the greatest things you can do in that game, or any RPG, really. Mm-hmm. You're... You're having an interview with a reporter who is, like, trying to, like, sandbag you. She, you know, she's trying to you know, ask you, and it's like, you know, do you think that when you murdered all those civilians that it was just, a, you know, that, you know, that, that kind of shit? trying to Fox News you. So, so you can either answer the questions calmly and justly as such, as, like, you know, it's like, we felt like this was the correct way, and then they just get worse and worse, and at any point, you can just hit the right trigger and go, I've, I've had enough of your disingenuous assertions, and just punch her in, in the, the face. face. And as far as I know, there is any repercussions for this action. I think they actually reward you for it. I, d do they? I don't know, but she, she says, Oh, I can't believe you! How do you, how do you dare you punch a reporter? That's terrible! And she runs away and I never saw her again. Or like, no one's like, like She's yeah. just gone. Shepard, you got a lawsuit. I, I didn't get canceled! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe cancellation is just like out of the public mind and space. What does that take place? 2052 or something like that? Uh, or 202252? 20, 2100, something like that. 2100? You know? Okay. Yeah. F Late, far after late enough that uh, that we know about spacing figured out a way for interdimensional travel and early enough that we're like still kind of newcomers in the uh universal uh table of council i suppose you know well i've got a, i've got an interesting thought for you I, I just i just considered this okay what do you got so you know how um the social zeitgeist is constantly changing yeah uh, with with every new avenue as, the as to zap to do yeah the entire mindset of us as a race of humans changes constantly, especially when something new comes up, and it it learns to eventually be accepted, and then it be, just becomes the norm. With our current 
way that we're going. As we keep evolving, do you think we'll have like a new version of canceling somebody or something to that extent? Do you, do you know what I mean? A new version of canceling like, somebody? <clears throat> something that it's called something completely different and everybody's on the bandwagon, especially with a uh, shitty personality. It's like we're all like okay that. with Zorp Gorsting someone. I mean, if it has to be called that, then that's what it's called. I don't think I follow. Like, how could there be a different way to cancel somebody? Maybe I just need to reword it. Like, is there a, like a, a, as a different way to hold somebody accountable for something? Something like that. Or... That's essentially what canceling is. You know, we're not canceling because you know when you know, fuck this person, it's you know it's fuck this person because this person said or did something terrible and they're getting a lot of money for this and they shouldn't. I guess I don't. I don't know why I even asked this because I basically contradicted myself by saying everything is always evolving. Of course, we're going to get something new. So why did I even bring that up? Yeah, why did you? Hashtag cancel the Niskel. Oh, finally. <laughs> I, think, I think we've been joking about this for years. It's like with disingenuous assertions and also getting canceled. It's probably one of the, at least to me, one of the funniest running jokes because to my knowledge, <laughs> I haven't done anything like that. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, see, the, the way I see it, if somebody gets canceled, you need to, you need to watch how they react to it. That's true. I think that's the most important thing whenever somebody gets canceled. Like, you know, they, they own up to it and says, yes, I'm sorry. I, 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 With I, the dog I in the background? No, no, no. Like, like genuinely, oh, like, genuine, you know, okay. they, 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 they're like, you know, yeah, I, I'm, I'm sorry. You know, this, this is, this is a bad part of me. And, you know, I need to, oh, you can't go. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, that's oh, no. not good. Oh, no. Uh oh, I think you got me, brother. I think this, uh, might, uh... Yeah, yeah you got me, brother. Wow, all right. Dang, UDJ takes it. Right at the very end. Uh, actually, more, more than just the end. Hello. Wow, hey, the that's exact the same score. Same score. Just flip it around. Huh. You flipped the script on me, UDJ. That was, that was, that was, that was pretty fun. Well, look at you. Was, that that well, wasn't a bad game. To be like... the Othello man. Hey, look at that. Look at that. Ah, oh, Jesus. All right, here we go. I've been waiting for this. Chess is one of my <sighs> favorite games. It is it is the, the best board game, and it's I think I think we're gonna have another wonderful time, just like we did t uh, today. With uh, with Renegade when we get when we get to chess, it's cool. gonna it's gonna be gonna be a great time, and I can't wait. Do you know how to play chess? Yes. Then that's gonna be even better. Yep. See you next time.